and my beautiful people welcome to the Dawn kitchen guess what guys one of my viewer asked for me to make the party so I will be making Jamaican beef patties today first this is the ingredient for the crust. Two cup of flour, but I'm using three cups. Two ounces of frozen butter. Half pound of shortening. First, when you used to make patty, we used to use the beef sweet. Now it's very difficult to get the beef sweet because the beef sweet is what you use to really get the flakes on the crust. If you don't have the beef sweet, then you can come down to the flake more. If you don't have the flake more, then you can use a shortening along with the butter. So we can add that flaky crust. One teaspoon of white sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. A little ice water. I set it in the fridge so the ice is in it and everything so it's well cool. To give it that yellow color, you need the food coloring or the egg shade coloring. So this is the egg shade coloring I'm using. I'm not using curry in the cross because you will be tasting that curry in the cross. So curry for me, it's a no-no. You use the food coloring or the egg shade coloring to give the party that golden color. If you can't get the egg shade coloring in the supermarket, you can always get it online. You roll in pin to roll it down. You save a bowl and, and your pastry cutter. Here we go, so these are all the ingredients for the crust. You want to put the flour in. As I told you, it's going to be three cups. So let me get the next cup. The sugar in. Also the salt. And it just sift together. The reason why you save it, it makes the crust become lighter. Air pass through the flour and it becomes so light and remove any lumps eh, from the flour. You're shortening in. I'm gonna cut the butter in. The butter is frozen. You just cut it in pieces. With the egg coloring. Three tablespoons. If I need more, then I will add more. So now, you're just gonna play in the dough. I put my gloves on because this time my hand gonna get dirty. You also wanna play in the dough. If you want, you can use a pastry cutter too. So now guys, you see how it's looking? 
you combine everything and it looking like fine breadcrumbs. Now I'm, I'm gonna add a little ice water. And I'm gonna use my measuring spoon. This is ice. I just wanna crack that, right. So one, two, three. So now guys, this is a consistency you want to have. You see, stiff enough. So now I'm going to place this in a smaller, because I'm going to use this bowl. So I'm going to place it in this bowl. And I'm going to wrap it with plastic wrapper. And I'm gonna place it in the fridge, in the freezer for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Here we go again to the second part now, my beautiful people. This is a part for the filling, right? This is a ground beef and it's saying it's 80% lean and 20% fat let me open this now so this is almost three and a half pound of the ground beef I'm just using about let me see yeah. About two pounds. Mm -hmm. Using about two pounds. Here is a scallion, aka green onion. One onion, one scotch bonnet pepper, three cloves of garlic, a little fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. Quarter teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of black pepper half teaspoon of all purpose half teaspoon of saison quarter teaspoon of g sugar to balance out that flavor one tablespoon of soy sauce. It's gonna pour saison, the all purpose, salt, black pepper, sugar. And you're gonna cut so now you just want to cut on the scallion aka green onion you want to cut it as fine as possible Also, the time is going to cut very fine. And for this, you just want to use a fresh time, not the dry one, the 
fresh green thyme. So your onion. Remember when you're making the patties, you have mild and you have spicy. So for the mild, you don't need a lot of pepper. But if you want to make the patty spicy, you can use like three scotch bonnet pepper. And if you don't want it spicy, you can just use one scotch bonnet pepper. You just want to get this as fine as possible. You don't want to be eating your patty and seeing all these onion and thyme and all those stuff in it. So you just chop fine, 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 fine as possible. I want to add this to the ground beef. And this I'm gonna do the pepper now. So you remove the pepper seed. So this is a garlic now. You want to do the garlic as fine as possible. So here. You chop the garlic as fine. So if you don't have the garlic compressor, you can always put the garlic on the cutting board and cut it as fine as possible. So this is where we have now. You're gonna put this soy sauce in and you rub your seasoning in. So now guys I'm gonna cover it and let it rest for half an hour. So it's half an hour now, so now I'm moving over to the stove to put it in the pot on the fire. This, you don't need any oil whatsoever because the ground beef is 20% fat and fat is oil. So with the non-stick pot already heated on the fire, you just want to place the ground beef in. I'm going to turn the fire on a low heat. I'm going to cover for at least five minutes. So my beautiful people, five minutes, you see, you don't need any oil. Because the ground beef, as I told you, it's already fatty. It's of a lot of fat. It's the amount of water it makes, the amount of juices, oil, and everything. You're going to cover again, give it five more minutes. Roughly, this do not need more than 20 minutes. So I give it the next five more minutes. And I turn it over. And remember, the fire is on medium heat. No water added, no oil added, nothing. The beef is cooking with its own juices. So checking in back on the mince, 
you see how lovely it looking it have its own juices and everything so I give it 10 more minutes and all that's on 20 minutes 20 20 minutes and your ground beef is ready you don't need the ground beef cooking that long so in the meantime I will be rolling out the dough you want to flour to here also the rolling pin so guys here I finish roll out the dough and what I'm doing at this time, I'm going to put some butter on half of the dough. You're just going to cut some butter in. Also, some shortening. Just going to put some shortening. And you're going to fold it over in half like this and I'll flour the board again so I'll flour it like flour. just gonna roll so guys you roll it down not too thin and not too thick. I think I suppose you can get three cut it from this. I wanna cut with this. Let me see. You can see the the butter all over. It's gonna give it the flake. Okay guys. See, it's looking so, so tasty. All right. I just want to get this cool a little, let it cool a little bit. You just want to use, this is a cover, pot cover I'm using. Just place it on the door. Just like that and press and just lift the dough over as easy as that one two three guys it's still beautiful it looking so beautiful and now i'm just gonna place the mince place the mince like that and you just want to seal the edge with some water. You don't need any eggs. Wash to seal the egg. Just some water. Go around the edge. Edge. And then you take it and you carry it over. And you press. I'm gonna press 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 so you seal the edges together properly if you don't seal the edge together this thing will pull away and I just press on the top a little Look at it. Well sealed together. And then you're gonna use the fork. You just wanna get the fork in the water too. And you press on the seal the edges. And then you're just gonna 
or the top. Not from top to bottom, that's the top. You put the fog in just like that. And look, guys, the patty is looking like this. Oh, so beautiful! Huh? Yeah, beautiful. See it with some water. I'm gonna fold it over. And press firmly. Let the fog in some water. A little hole in the center for air to pass through. And the patty won't break up. With the oven already set to 350 degrees. 300 degrees, sorry. The patty is will take 25 minutes to 30 minutes to bake so in my beautiful people it's time to check in on our patties oh wow it's ready the patties bake guys you see that And my beautiful people, this is the Jamaican beef patties. Ain't it looking mouth watering? So, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Give this video a try. Give it a try. You will love it. Thank you for watching. D Dan Kitchen.